code, simple instructions. Can we embed instructions in something other than text? Text is merely a form of flipping bits, but we can flip bits in any way. Structure. Can we interpret structure? Not only can we, it may be the only thing we can interpret. Structuralism. Things are defined by their relationship to others. What gives structure? What is that oh so useful construct which embodies the essence of structure? What, if structure were to disappear, would cease to exist entirely? Hello again, dear beloved companions in YouTube. The esoteric programming language folders, the programming language with no code and just folders. Daniel Temkin made folders and basically it's a language that's interpreted on a root folder and based on how many folders are nested and nested in which way, the uh, program executes a different series of instructions. This is what the Hello World uh, program looks like. And the cool thing about folders is that on Windows, at least, if you right click a folder and there's nothing else but empty folders in that folder, the size is zero bytes. So these are zero byte programs. He originally wrote the interpreter in C sharp. So this is the folders interpreter in C sharp. But if you don't have Windows, like me, and or you want to you run it on Windows, but more universally, this is folders.py, created by me, to run folders. Here is you can just pip install folders, just like that. And there we go, we got folders. So this is the folders command. Uh, and that's what we're going to run on our root folder. Basically, there's three types of folders. Command folders, expression folders, and type folders. And the initial folder is always a command folder. So a command folder is any kind of command and the number of folders nested within that folder tell you uh, what command it is. So if you set an if, it's zero, while is one. Let's say we just want to print the letter H. So what we want to do is see that we have a print. So first we create a new folder. So we have one folder that's for printing and inside it there needs to be four folders. So Okay, so now we have, next we have another folder. So we have to make sure that it alphabetically comes next for the type, the expression of our print statement. All right, so the next thing is an expression. Folder two, this is gonna be an expression. And so the first folder in the expression is going to be a type of the expression. The type of the expression we want is a literal value, variables, uh, operations, literals, boolean comparisons so what we want is a literal right so we're just gonna try to print the letter h and the hello world is a bit long literal is five folders so there we go that's a literal value and next we have to hold the type information so the type information says the type takes the following forms do we want a string or a character let's do a character so we're just going to go for the character, that's three folders, and what we want here is finally our uh, actual value of the character. Now the way the values are encoded are actually pretty much in binary. Hex left, right, and each of these is going to be four folders. And within every single one of those folders, if it's a one, 
It'll have a folder. If it's not, it won't have a folder. All right, and we now know that the binary representation of just H is, and there's going to be a zero here for 8-bit. We just add an extra folder on every time that a one appears in the binary representation. And so that's pretty much it. Folder here wasn't actually a folder, it was a file. Can't have a file in there, it's gotta be a folder. And so I'm gonna move them both into a central command folder. Folders need to each, each command needs to be isolated in its own folder, believe it or not. Uh, so here we go. And let me just run that again for you. Bam, that's just the H. You could follow a similar procedure to get hello world. So if you follow the same logic, you can see that this is what the hello world program would look all printed out. So you got the same um, five folders for the print and then the type of the printing, which is string, and then just all the bit values for uh, every character in the string, hello world. And as is tradition with SOLangs, I thought I would write a Fibonacci number generator and instead of writing it live because it just takes so painfully long with this language, let's just walk through it and hopefully it'll get you a feel for the folders language. So. Um, basically, with a Fibonacci number, you want to declare two variables, add them together, print that number, and then just repeat that forever. So what we want to do is first get uh, the number zero. So we're just having a let expression that is, let's see here, three. So let is just declaring a variable. So we've got three folders in there to say it's a let. Then the next one is going to be the name of the variable. And the next one is going to be the type and the value of the variable, which of course is going to be zero in hex. So now that we have that, we do the same exact procedure for one. Now we need a while loop. So while loop, as we can see, is C, second subfolder holds an expression. Kind of expression we want is something that'll make the while loop go on forever. So for example, we're just going to say if one equals one, which is what this expression does. So you want equality. The while loop will execute these commands and these commands are simply print the number if you recall printing has four subfolders and one expression the expression is a variable variables are zero folders that's why there's nothing here and the variable name is also zero adding the numbers together putting in a temporary uh, variable that's the let three and then moving those into uh, the original two variables and so all in all, that's how this works with Fibonacci. And it's going pretty fast. So it's not going to be that easy to see the Fibonacci numbers. But we can do the um, listing version, which will just show us the code. And it's pretty simple. It's So yeah, so that's the folders programming language. It's pretty sweet. I'll leave my implementation on uh, in the description and it'll link to the original Daniel Temkin blog post where he created the language as well as the SO language wiki that has uh, more information about it. Uh, I might have spoiled it a bit with my enthusiasm to uh, create my own implementation of the folders programming language, but I would currently rank folders as my Favorite SOLang encountered so far, even beating Bfunge, uh, just because I think the idea of the no code is very appealing. See ya.